Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark times of unrest. And, beloved, there's no better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, and uh, if you will, turn with me over to Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 6. And I want us to look at verse number 12 as our text verse of Scripture. Notice Jesus in the Lord's Prayer says, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, or forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, friend, I want to talk to you about forgiveness today. One of the most important things that you and I can do is have a heart for forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is a very deep theological study, and uh, there's much that could be said about forgiveness, but Jesus makes it very clear to us here in his prayer, what we call the model prayer. He makes it very clear that we're forgiven only as we forgive. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And friend, if you live long enough, somebody will trespass against you. And uh, so the art of forgiveness is is, uh, wonderful and it's important in your walk as a child of God. Now, the beauty of Christianity is that uh, its core message is a message of forgiveness. You see, God's, uh, God loves people. Now, let me say that again. God loves people. But if you stop and you think about it, why would he love us? We've rebelled against him. And friend, we need to be forgiven. We can't earn or deserve that forgiveness. So God himself robed himself in a body of flesh. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So God robed himself in a body of flesh in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ to live a perfect life and earn forgiveness for us by sacrificing himself for everything that we've done wrong. Now he offers forgiveness to each of us, but we must confess our wrongdoings and accept Christ and his sacrifice on our behalf. Forgiveness is the way your relationship with God begins, and it's the way that you should live with others as well. Forgiveness is the great uh, opportunity that you have to put into practice all those things that can be challenging to you. It's a challenging thing to forgive somebody that's wronged you. But asking for forgiveness and granting forgiveness are some of the hardest impersonal interactions that you can have as a child of God. It is essential for Christian living. Now, since forgiveness is at the foundation of the Christian faith, the Bible naturally uh, has a lot to say about it. And uh, we're going to be talking about that uh, these next few days. The art of forgiveness, being able to forgive. My friend, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, listen, think about that verse of Scripture. What is Jesus saying? He's saying, I'll forgive you if you're willing to forgive. Now, friend, we're going to study this, we're going to learn how to do this, and we can't do it by ourselves. Have you ever heard somebody make the statement, well, bless God, I'll forgive him, but I won't forget. Boy, I'm glad that Jesus didn't say that. I'm glad that Jesus didn't say, well, I'm going to forgive old Danny, but I'm going to look at all of those skeletons in his closet, and I won't forget. Friend, God understands our humanity. Uh, because he robed himself in a body of flesh, but yet he's forgiven me as far as it is east to west, never to bring those things before me again. We've got to learn how to forgive. And when we learn how to forgive, it'll make our world a better place to live in. Friend, I don't know about you, but I'm excited and looking forward to the days ahead as we learn about forgiveness 
and how God expects us to do it. Think about these things, and what a great, great, great study it's going to be, an encouraging study to make us better at what God wants us to be. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful passage of Scripture in the Lord's Prayer that reminds us that we're forgiven as we forgive. And if we can't forgive, then, Lord, we're not forgiven. Help us study this, learn this, and instill this into us. and Help us to realize we can't go it alone. We need you, Jesus, for it's in your name I pray. Amen. Well, God bless you, my friend. I pray that you found a little bit of encouragement in this today. Have that forgiving spirit and let the Lord uh, work in your life and make a difference in your world. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and do. Have a wonderful and a great day.